What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to bring you a full guide on how to do the Dark Citadel, the brand new raid in Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred for Season 6 that's coming up in literally two days, guys. Two days we got until it releases. Monday night at 7 on uh, in NA. Um, it's going to be a little bit later for all the EU players, etc. But Monday night is when the new season starts, and then we'll, everybody will be cranking on the 8th. So let's dive into this first and foremost i want to give a big shout out to sladra uh dm as well as lucky luciano i think i said that right but lucky lucky dm and sladra for doing the raid with me big shout out to those creators man so it was really really fun to play with you guys so thank you very much all right so let's get into this i got the footage here we're going to be doing a lot of pausing and stopping because i really want to take this through and break this down for you guys so you don't get confused if you do at any point in the video and stuff just ask me down in the comments and i'll be happy to answer because the raid is actually really really fun but it can get very very confusing for people who are you know when you guys finally get here so on the map here you have three different lanes okay or sides to the dark citadel Okay, there's three different ones that you have to do, a left one, a right one, and a center. Okay, you have to complete all three to complete the Dark Citadel itself. Once you get to the end, you get all your juicy rewards, and then the Dark Citadel is over. Okay, so you're in your, your Dark Citadel hub here. Okay, I apologize if the footage looks a tad choppy. It's probably not. Um, give me just a second, two seconds. Okay, so inside the Dark Citadel, guys, you got the three lanes, everything inside this hub here. You have all of your, you got your stash, you have all of your, you know, your weapons, your armory, all these things. So you can go purchase whatever, you can change your powers. You could literally check everything. It's like a mini little hideout. So in here, you have the three different lanes. It does not matter which lane that you guys go down. It does not matter at all, which one you're doing. You can do the left one first, right one first, doesn't matter, but you're gonna have to complete all three. Now, each floor has a different mechanic and we're gonna break those down um, right now. So we're gonna go in, me and everybody, dm Luke, lucky and slager we're going to go in here the very first floor so as the footage is playing on the first floor you can split up or stick together it doesn't matter if you split up it's a little bit faster so on the first floor all you're looking for is this right here the kazara treasury okay so you're looking for these bosses here and it's going to rank up your tiers so as you can see when we're going through this every uh kaza treasury elite that you kill is going to rank up your tiers from zero to four this is going to affect your end game completion when you defeat the dark citadel for your rewards you complete this you're going to get an extra chest it's even more rewards i highly suggest that you guys do this and don't skip past it okay now once you get to this floor here which is kind of the end that you see of the very first floor you're going to have these two little um like beacons here these little things it kind of looks like a little event you see this red circle here inside the red circle you're going to want to kill monsters inside there until it fills up okay and once you have that filled up it's going to drop an item you're going to defeat it it destroys itself and then you can move on to the next floor okay now the trick here is is that you have these two ceiling wards okay now how you open these is after you destroy these pillars it's going to drop a ward stone you're going to want to take the ward stone and then put it in to these little beacons here into the ceiling wards. And once you have two, it's gonna open up the door to the very next zone, all right? Same thing here, you're gonna repeat this process to get through the floor. It's very, very easy. It's much faster if you split up. And as you can see, you see on the map here, if I go back just slightly, see these red marks on the map? These are the bosses that you're gonna to wanna to fight to not only increase your treasure reward, but to advance the map, all right? So you're gonna be going through here. You guys are gonna kill all of this stuff. Okay, and you can see now that we got reward for so now our looking for is these like these little towers here or these little doorways here to go to the next floor. Okay, there's a couple different mechanics through each floor to complete it, but they're fairly easy once you like get through it and understand. Now, this is where things get tricky and you have to get to this point. And you, this is where you have to have people. So you're going to have these two beams here. And standing on the beams is going to open each one. My teammates are a little bit ahead, but standing on the yellow one will open this door. And then you have a teammate go in and stand on the blue one, and it opens up this left door. When you do that, that kind of completes that part of the segment, and both doors will remain open. This is where you have to split up as a team. So we're in a party of four. So we're going two to the left, two to the right. I'm going with Slager to the, to the right. Actually, I go with Lucky, I think. Yeah, I go with Slager to the right. So once you get up here to this very next room, okay? We're gonna have some monsters to fight in here. We're gonna kill all these monsters. Now this is like a, 
this is like a trick room. So you're gonna see all of these doorways, you stand on these to open. Now what you're looking for is, is there's four of these doors standing on them open and you want a warden to come out. You need to kill the warden to grab the stone to put it into this beacon over here on the left. So what we're doing is we're looking for him. We gotta open it, okay, he's not in this one. Okay, we gotta, we gotta wait for him to, to appear and come through the door so we can kill him. So now keep in mind that your teammates on the other side are doing the same exact thing and you cannot advance until you both are done. Okay, you ha everybody has to do this. If your teammates on the other side have completed this room, they're gonna be stuck in here until we finish ours and then we advance together as a team. All right, so you can see here, we're, we're about to get the warden. Um, once the warden comes out, we got the little uh, pillar here that we're gonna destroy again, which is gonna drop our soul stone. And we're gonna put it into the, the seal and open up the door. So it's very straightforward where we open up the door after we kill the warden and then we move on. So we got him, put it in there, now we can advance. And you see our teammates are coming in. That's the second phase to this left wing. And boom, open up the, the chest, we're all done. So this one was very straightforward, very like, very easy, this left one. And that's just the like one of the phases. We still have some more to go. Okay, that's, that's the bonus treasure. So now we gotta find the gateway. Now this here, again, you can split through as you're going through. And then once you get to this room, this is how this kind of works. This is a little tricky. So as we're killing monsters, we need to collect realm shards, okay? Realm shards drop from the monsters. And once we pick them up, we're gonna input them into the center circle here. Okay, that's how we rack this up. You can see the little beams here coming on uh, from each one that we've inputted. So as the footage is going, you'll see that we'll kill monsters and we'll come back and put those things in. It's very, very easy to kind of mix it up, but we wanna collect those soul stones and put those in there. All right, you can see it, it builds up as we're killing monsters. And then once we've completed it, this is where you gotta be on your toes. So this is gonna fill up and everybody has to get inside and it's gonna teleport us to the next place. So this is the gateway, we activate it, we go through. Now we're in this like shadowish realm, kind of like a parallel dimension to the rooms that we were just in. It's just dark and shadowy now. In these rooms, it does not matter to kill monsters. It does not matter to do anything. All you wanna do is get through the room. Now, there's something here that I wanna zoom in on. And it's little, this little skull uh, above your head. It's called impending doom. Is the longer you are in the shadow realm, the more that this bar fills up. Once it fills up, it automatically kills you. Okay, however, there is a way to cleanse it. You're gonna find some more of these little beams and that's how you're gonna kill it, these little uh, circles. Now these ghost spirits will lead you away to those uh, auras that'll cleanse the impending doom off of your character. So as I'm advancing through, you're gonna see me find one of these and I'm gonna get rid of the impending doom because I'm almost dead. I need to stop fighting monsters like a, like a dummy but you're gonna move through here. These, these auras right here, cleanse. This cleanses it, resets it, and you're good to go. So I was down here fighting, just cleansing it until I moved on to the next area. So once you do that, we're gonna move up again. Now we gotta find the Ascendance Gate. And just like on that very first room or floor, we got more Kazura treasuries. You wanna max this again to get even more rewards at the treasury as we advance through this floor. Okay, again, very easy. They're highlighted on the map with the red skull here. You kill those, treasury wardens is what you're looking for. You destroy those and it's gonna rank your tiers up. Okay, next, once you get through here, we get to the boss. All right, we get to this boss. Through the door, we're gonna destroy this boss and he's gonna have a little bit of mechanics here. It's very easy, we destroy him and boom, this part of the wing is done. I believe this was the final part of the wing. You're gonna get all of your gear. You're gonna get a lot of runes. Um, this is like one of the coolest things. So then now we advance past the uh, boss there. Same thing, we're still trying to kill the treasuries because we wanna max our rewards. Okay. Now we're in the final boss room of this left wing. Okay, and these mechanics can get a little tricky. It did take us a couple times to do this, but it's not as hard as you think. So similar to how we had to get the spirits and deposit them, we have to do the same thing here. So as it's playing, we need to slay Gorshak, okay? 
So we're fighting him, and now his his uh, health bar goes gray, so we can't deal any damage to him. So now what we have to do is we have to charge the gateway. So as we're killing monsters, they're going to drop these little to Oops. They're going to drop these little tokens right here. These are the soul stones. And when you pick these souls up, you'll deposit them into the center, and then that's how you reset and get his protective shield to go away. So we ended up dying like once or twice. But um, when you fill up this meter and you have all six, you're going to activate the gateway and it's going to take you to the shadow realm. The same thing in here, we're going to have our impending doom skull. And while we're in the shadow realm, we need to activate both of these uh, totems here in order to help advance the boss fight and to kill him. It takes his health down essentially. So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna do the same thing. Now, if your teammates are stuck on the other side, they can still do everything you were just doing in that fight. But as you're going through here, you're gonna pick up the same thing. You're gonna kill the wardens. You're gonna pick those uh, gems up and you can see your impending doom bar filling up. If that fills up, the entire party dies and we have to do the fight again. So once you do that, like as you can see that I died here, once you do that, the impending tomb is about to kill me. So you guys can see this just to see how it works. But now we're getting teleported back after we put those in and we got to fight him again. So you basically rinse and repeat this process until you kill the boss. So once you do it, you fill this up, activate it, and then you're going to take away his shield and you'll be able to do some damage to him. So see, we died. We're going to do it again. And then once you're in here, like the four man one is kind of tough because there's so many moving parts, but it's really not that bad. So then once you get rid of his bar, now something to note here, as you guys might have seen right there, see this little like string that's on my character. That means that the boss is focused on me. So he's going to be attacking me. And if the other players are in the way, they're just in the way. But he focuses each person. Now, once you've deposited and activated this beacon here, it'll remove his shield, and that's when you can attack him. And I think this is where we kill him. And boom, the left, the left lane or left tier, left wing is all completely finished. Dark Citadel wing complete. So that was the enclave. Okay. Very, very easy to do. Not too bad. It's very, very easy. The left is probably the easiest. Now we're gonna advance to we're now we're gonna skip over and go to the right wing. All right, so in the right wing, which is the Labyrinth of Souls, now we're going to advance through here. And this one's slightly different, but it's essentially more of the same stuff that you guys have already been doing. Very similar mechanics. It's very straightforward. It's not too complicated. Again, on the first floor, as you come in, you have the Khazra's Treasury just to rank up and give you better rewards. So you're going to advance through here, kill those guys, right? Very straightforward. We're going to do the same thing. And then when we go to in once you get through the very first part, you're going to come up to this next room here. Okay. You're going to advance through here. And then all you're going to do here is just activate the teleporter. Okay. How you activate the teleporter is there's a, these two beams, one on each side. And when you stand on each of those, it's going to drop this portal. Right. And now everybody can advance through the portal, the unknown portal to the next part or the next part of the floor. Come through here, we're going to have a little boss fight, which I think is really cool. This this wing of this like Labyrinth of Souls actually went pretty quick. This one wasn't bad. So the same thing here, similar to the last floor, we have the, the pillar in the center. We want to kill a bunch of creatures to destroy the pillar. Okay. And then once we destroy the pillar, this is where it's going to open up four different doors. As you guys can see here on the map, there's four different doors here. Obviously, you want to split up as team members and go through each one. Okay, as you're going through each one, okay, it's going to be the exact same thing that you have to do. It's going to spawn another one of these. You're going to destroy the creatures here. And then it's going to drop the secondary door. And when you go through there, you're going to go get a soul stone and then you're going to come back. So once you come through here, it opens. I think I died right here. Yeah, so you come through, open it up. You're going to take the portal. And then once you take the portal through, it opens up a another room. And again, destroying the monsters here gives you a beacon. 
You're going to activate this beacon, which is going to drop the veil on the door, which is pretty, pretty straightforward. You're just going to kill all the monsters coming through because we want to obtain sigils from the ritual guardians. So going through those doors, you kill the boss and then you obtain the ritual guardian. Okay, you're going to see that we kill him. Then we're going to come back to the unknown portal and it's going to bring us right back to the main room. Once we have the first sigils from the ritual guardians. All right, we're back. Okay, so once you open up the two beams, it's going to bring you into this next room. And you can see here that it activated the ritual and we just go through it. Now we, now we have a boss fight that we have to do. Now, once in this room, the boss roams around. You can see him up here. The boss just kind of room, roams around and we're still trying to obtain the sigils. So once you get all four, you'll go through the teleporter and it's going to bring you this to this room. Okay, and this is where you'll have the boss fight. So inside the boss fight, you activate and use the rituals inside of this tower here. And this is where the boss fight actually happens. So when you come back, okay, if I can back up for just a second so you guys can see. So these, these rituals that are in here, these ones right here, you activate and put those binding sigils inside here. And that's what drops the boss's shield. So you could do damage to him. Sorry for the cuts on this, guys. I, I my like my footage dropped and I had to start it back up again. But once you do that, you defeat Lorzul, and then this wing is completely done. This one went so much faster than the last one, and it's just more of the same mechanics, right? You're killing the monsters, you're grabbing the soul stones, and you're depositing them and advancing through the floor. So once that one is done, now we have one more floor to go to, right? And this is the main floor, which I think some of my teammates already advanced or went through. But now we're going to the, uh, what is this one? This one is the, um, the Dominion of Zagril. So I'm playing catch up right now. You're going to go through the, um, in the very first zone, this zone, you have monsters to defeat, okay? And the same thing, you'll grab those stones from the monsters uh, when you kill them. You'll deposit them each into each of these totems. It'll drop the veil covering the portal, and then you will go through this portal. Once you advance through the portal, it brings you to the next floor. Now we have to kill spell guardians, collect counter spell stones. This is probably the hardest part out of all the dungeon because of how the counter spell actually works. So once you come through here, you're going to have to grab a counter spell. So um i'll explain this in just a second because we're gonna advance to this floor but somebody is gonna pick up the counter spell stone and you'll come to this room and you'll stand on this portal the person with the counter spell stone has to stand on this portal when you stand on it it's gonna activate this stone statue and he's gonna throw a spell at you as you can see right here he's gonna throw a, he's gonna throw a uh, a spell okay we kill the spell guardian you can see the stone right here. Okay, now this is the spell that's being thrown from the stone statue. You have to stand on this portal with the counter spell stone and send that spell back at the statue to advance to the next part of the of this wing. So the person that had it missed this one, so we had to wait. I um, mean, he had to reset it, but then, here we go. Slade just got it, and it counters and sets back. Now this portal, you have to get inside of it. Because it's going to teleport everybody to the next part. Okay. You got a healing well healer so you can heal up. We got a couple bosses that you're going to fight here. Now this fight was a little tricky. Okay. Again, the same thing with the counter spell stone that we just did. You have to do against these bosses. So their, their bars are going to be gray until you counter one of their spells. So as you're killing monsters, you'll pick up the counter spell stone. One person will pick it up. And you can see how the boss, this boss just fired a counter spell. Again, you pick up the stone and deflect it back at him. So it drops his, his shield and then you can deal damage to him. Okay. You have to do this for each boss. Okay. So you can see on the map here, our green player, which is DM, he has the counter spell stone. So he's going to counter spell one of these guys in just a second. And you'll see how it works. So he countered and now he's going to go through this portal. Okay, I missed the portal, which sucked. But as you can see, when I'm still in here fighting, it's fine. And my teammates come right back. Okay. They come right back. 
Now we got to kill the spell guardian one more time. You pick up the counter spell essence. Okay. And now we got a counter spell. I'm the one carrying it. I think I missed it at some point or I hit him and maybe I died. Yeah. That's what it was. I died. And uh, then they picked it up and did the counter spell. So once you're advancing through, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. I know there's a lot going on, but you counter the spell. And then you, everybody goes through this teleporter. And then inside the teleporter is where you can kill the boss. So deflecting the spell opens the portal to bring us to this boss to fight. So we're killing the boss. No big deal. Okay. I think we could, I think we kill him here. Yeah. So now once we kill him, we come back again and the boss is dead. Okay. We got some really cool cosmetics. We got some, some runes, etc., which is pretty sweet. Now that's just the first mini boss before we get to the big boss. Okay. So now we got to go do it again. Same thing on this floor, just like in the other ones. We have the treasury monsters we can kill to increase our reward tier, which is awesome. So when you're going through this, it's fantastic. You kill all these guys and you get a big bonus, right? That's what we're looking for. Then again, with the doorway, we're going to advance through. You can advance through these pretty fast. And now we have the main boss. Okay, this boss fight is pretty nuts. Okay, so when you come up to the boss fight, we're going to have this big bird fight us. Okay. These mechanics were a little weird at first. All right. So it activates a portal and we're going to go through a portal to fight this boss. Zagril. Okay. Now we're in the shadow realm. Again, we can have the oblivion happen to us, but we're going to deal some damage to him. So he'll stop. We won't be able to hurt him. And now this is where we have to go through these phases. So he activates a lot of crazy mechanics here. So try to dodge everything. Now, these portals is what we want to stand on. We want to stand on both portals to drop this sphere that's covering this, okay? So we activate. Oops. We're going we're gonna to advance. Oh, go back. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay. So once you activate both of these, it drops the portal. You're going to activate this statue, right? And this is what's going to bring us back to the realm that we were just in. So you get in the portal. You go back. All right, so now we got to do the same thing. He spawns up there. We got to kill a bunch of these monsters. All right. Kill a bunch of these monsters. And this is the part of the mechanics that got confusing when I first did this. But these four statues, we are going to use them in just a moment. All right, so we've killed enough monsters and it activates the next thing. These four soul siphons summon ritual guardians and you have to dispel them matching the sigils. Okay. So, above your head is the sigil that you need to match to the Soul si Siphon statue. So, I need the moon one, and then all my teammates need their corresponding ones. So, just like before, you're going to stand in this circle, and you need to kill enough monsters to destroy the, si the uh, siphon. Once the siphon is destroyed, that's when it's going to drop the sigil, and you have to pick up your matching sigil. So as we're going through, this gets destroyed, right? Communicate this with your teammates as best you can. And see, this one got destroyed down here, and it dropped the moon one, so now I'm dispelling. During this entire time, you do have your impending doom still charging up. So you dispel it, and then your thing stops. All right, after that, we're going to go activate the main sigil up top, okay, right here in front of the boss, as you guys saw on the minimap. And now it brings the boss back. All right, brings the boss back. And then we kind of have to like dodge his and counter spell this if we can. Um, we have to counter spell this. So whoever has the counter spell stone, which is, I think it's Sladra again. Okay, so we killed the monster with the, the counter spell stone. You're going to grab the counter spell stone and now you have to counter spell Zagril. So he's going to fire off another spell. And then it's going to activate the portal. We're going to go through the portal one more time. And we are literally going to rinse and repeat this process until you kill Zagril. You will rinse and repeat. So in here, his bar will drop. You can deal a bunch of damage to him. Right? You deal a bunch of damage. His bar stops. And we're going to rinse and repeat. They res me here. We drop the portal. 
Okay. We go back to the next area, as you guys can see. And then we, we do the, the matching of the sigils all over again. Okay, we match the sigils. Very, very easy. And once they're matched, Zagril comes out again. And we're going to have to kill him. So he comes out. We're going to do the counter spell. We got to do the counter spell here. And once we counter spell, boom. We're going to go again back to the same zone one more time. And now this is where we can kill him. So if we back up just for a second, his bars there. I think we just killed him right there. Slager got the finishing blow. Because you see the beam shoot into his chest. We come back. And boom, Zagril is dead. So the mechanics aren't that hard. You just have to repeat them multiple times. Zagril's dead. And we get a bunch of crazy loot. Dark Sigil conquered. Super, super cool. And just to pause on this, guys. Every time you complete the Dark Citadel, there is a cache that you can get. Now, this is a weekly cache. So just similar to like World of Warcraft, you're going to be able to do this when this resets, similar to how like the world boss has those caches that reset. So once a week, this will reset unless they increase it. But you open up this cache and it does give a lot of interesting items. You're going to see me open it right here, which I think is really cool. Or open the Dark Citadel cache. And this is where you're going to get all of your stuff. So you get a bunch of materials. You get a bunch of legendary items and unique items. You get a bunch of obols. You get scrolls of restoration, generosity, and then the weekly Citadel coin cache. The Citadel coin cache is for your mercenaries, I believe. And then you get your guaranteed greater affix items, which I think is fantastic. All right. So then these are the big things here. You get your scroll of restoration, which that's the tempering. This is the best place to get the tempering charges and tempering scrolls. Okay, for reset, I got two here. Again, we are only on Torment 1, so I don't know how many more you're going to get in Torment 2, 3, and 4. I'm assuming it's much higher. And then you also get your, uh, where is it? It's another scroll on there. But then you get all of your Citadel coins, okay? The Citadel coins can be used to purchase the items that you can modify the Citadel with, all right? So very straightforward. It's a very awesome dungeon. I think it's fantastic. It's super cool. Um, it was pretty easy for us to do. Like, as soon as you learn the mechanics one time, it's a very, very easy thing to do. It can be complicated at first, guys, but just reference my guide or another person's guide, another creator's guys. Pretty sure everybody's making them that got to test early. So it was a lot of fun. You can definitely do this with just one other person. You, you Everything scales to party size, so you do not need to be in four players. Four players definitely finishes things a little bit faster when you have to split off from each other. But two players, you can crush this just fine. So yeah, guys, this is the Dark Citadel guide. I really hope that this helps you. I know the video is a little long. I hope it won't be too long. It'll be probably 25 minutes, but like the video, comment down below. Let me know if this has helped you. If you guys have any questions about the Citadel, just comment and I will reply and answer them. Um, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.